How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I'm going to talk and share a little bit of information about Fuel Line and also um, how to install and how Fuel Line can affect the tuning of your nitro vehicle. So, recently I was at the Mugen Challenge. There was a couple guys that came down from Canada and they were having a bunch of problems tuning their engines. Before coming to the race, they had fairly fresh engines, had run them at home. Everything ran great. They were super excited to come down to the race and to start practice they were having nothing but tuning problems. And we started talking and I was kind of asking them, um, you know, have you changed your glow plug? Um, have you checked your settings? Kind of just the basic stuff. And I asked them if they had changed anything else from the last time they ran uh, before then coming to the track. And as we were talking, you know, just kind of the normal basic maintenance. Um, and then one of the things I had asked them uh, if they normally use the same fuel line that was on their cars because they had a colored fuel line. And they said, no, actually, we changed the fuel line before coming to this race. And um, I haven't seen this too often, but I have a few times and it seems to happen more frequently with colored fuel line, but it can happen with pretty much any fuel line, is they put like a, I don't know if it's a mold release, but there's almost like a white kind of dust or powder on, on some of the fuel lines. I use the Flashpoint fuel line, part number is FP2111. Uh, this stuff works awesome, super durable. Um, it's clear so you can see the fuel as it's going through the line, see if you have any air bubbles. Um, it holds up really, really well to heat, so it's really good on the pressure line as well as the fuel side. But with some of the colored lines, like I said, it could be some of the dye on the line, but also um, it's, it's that powder that's, that's put on the line can cause problems. So what I like to do, even though the Flashpoint line is super clean, um, it doesn't have that like chalky powder on it. I'm gonna just kind of share with you uh, what I like to do uh, when I'm replacing my fuel line. And that is just taking some brake cleaner or electric motor cleaner. I'll just take and just do a quick little squirt through the line and then a little bit on the towel, on a clean microfiber towel, and just kind of wipe off that line. So I've flushed it out on the inside as well as the outside. Um, because what can happen is that powder or dust can basically be flushed through the line into the carburetor and then cause damage to the glow plug. So in this case at the Mugen Challenge, what we ended up doing is literally taking the same line off their car, wiping it all off, changing the glow plug, firing the engines back up, and they ran perfect the rest of the weekend. So just want to make sure, depending on the line you, you use, um, just showing you a little tip to make sure that your line is clean so that you have um, a little bit easier time tuning your engine. Another thing I like to do when I'm changing my line is I will cut three or four millimeters of line and then I will take my needle nose pliers, slide that little piece that I cut over the end and then I'll open that up and push the line in. And what that's doing is almost like creating a hose clamp. So that little piece of line then just puts more pressure. So where the line goes into the carburetor, so from the tank into the carburetor, I have one of those fittings so that it holds itself on much tighter. And then also where the pressure line comes from the tank or from the pipe to the tank. It's not going to be a bad idea if you want to, 
use these, uh, this little tip everywhere that the line connects, but the two most important parts or where you kind of see the most stress would be where the pressure line connects to the tank and also where the fuel line connects to the carburetor. So just a little tip about fuel line that should hopefully make uh, your engines run a little bit more consistent, um, not have problems with pressure lines coming off, which also will cause some inconsistencies. And um, again, cleaning your line with some brake cleaner or electric motor cleaner. Um, again, nitro can be really difficult and I'm just trying to share some tips to try to uh, not have some of the headaches that I had early on in my nitro racing.